say they turned all the super cool rides into baby rides. And the teens working here. They're not even laughing at the kids wiping out. They're loading them in feet first. Hey, where are your cutoffs? Are you even high? The bullies will pounce on you like an Aerialus Cristatus. Aerialus Cristatus? Who said that? I'm sh quiet. Name one more genus and species, and you will be silenced. Engage the idiot shield. Wheel of Fortune! Wheel of Fortune's on! Let's get home! Dear Lord, you know me. I'm a good time Charlie. But if you see fit to save my hide, I promise to become the kind of man my grandson can be proud of. My whole family, they're dead. I don't gotta share this with no one. Sorry, God, but hey, you can only send me to hell once. Fellas, Sheriff Flanders here. The money, where is it? Okay, hey, okay, <laughs> easy, friend. It's all yours. I promise. Just don't. Oh, come on! So frustrating. Well, there goes my life. There's nothing worse in this universe than a ride steering wheel that does nothing. No, it does something. It makes the frog smile. Oh, oh man, swim diapers. I remember those. True freedom. I could tell you some stories. Um, I don't feel so good. Oh, the quiet rivers in my tummy are becoming raging waters. Upstairs or downstairs? Both! Uh, out of the water! Out of the water! <laughs> Not me this time. Okay, wait here for two minutes while I get your treat. I'm going to open the windows halfway and leave the AC running. <laughs> What ice cream flavor will make my dog feel like the most cherished creature in the entire universe? Hey, check it out! Some jerk left their dog in the car! Victor Windows rolled up, no less. Who does that? Monster! Obviously no chocolate, but he does love peanut butter. Rum raisin is a no for any species. <laughs> What kind of lunatic makes this is okay? Some people are just born broken. Puppy spoiler coming through. Hey, what am I missing? A charless individual thought fit to desert their dog in a hideous sedan. Wait, it's not what it looks like. I just left my dog in my car on purpose. <laughs> Whoa. How could you, man? And on a scorcher like today? What? It's not a... Ah! Come on, boy. Help me out. Get the keys. Get the keys! You expect him to work under these conditions? No, wait. I think Marge hit a key under the car somewhere. That dog-cooking wuss is trying to hide! Oh, oh, this is so oh, 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 Leave me alone. I'm good with dogs. Lock the Dalmatian in the fire truck. Oh. Oh. Okay, everyone, the dog's fine. Why don't you all just get a life? No wonder his dog is such a psycho. Huh, he's probably a bad parent, too. How dare you? Dad, you forgot to pick us up. <gasps> Glad that's over, aren't we, boy? Uh, I'm not so sure. Uncracked books, 
pink erasers, a binder where the rings still meet. And I get to find out what happened to those praying mantis eggs I left in Skinner's office. If uh, we all agree to respect each other's workspace, this uh, year will go just fine. We can't just turn down jobs because it's our anniversary. Wait, you international psychos are married? That's none of your concern, you shorn sheep. Huh? Tell him, how many year? How many year? Ten years of wedded bliss. Each year sweeter than the last. Douce? Dix ans de mariage et même pas de vacances. Not one vacation! We don't get to take vacations if we don't take jobs. It's called math, darling. Hmm. Wow, if I said something that sexist, my wife would be furious. You see? Even the dead man knows. Look, the best marriage advice I ever got was, if you're thinking it, just say it. Really? Then I should tell her that every day she becomes more and more like her mother! Ah! My mother was twice the assassin you will ever be! What did Dr. Pam say about acting on anger? Ah! You tell her, Irish guy! Oh! Go for the ice, Frenchie! Oh! Whoever wins was right all along! <laughs> Uh, guys, there's a little fire situation in the kitchen here. Okay, you're communicating honestly, which is great. What say we focus on achievable goals as a couple? Like putting out this fire! Phew! No! Ah! Ever go to bed angry? Cuddling doesn't always lead to sex? You're not just married killers, you're homicidal best friends! Happy anniversary! <sighs> Je t'adore. Oh, you're a corker, my violent femme. What's that on my stimulant? Oh, I knew you crazy kids could make it work. Now we should probably get out of here before. You guys okay? The dog and I are cool. Look, we know you didn't mean to do anything wrong, but sometimes you just need to accept responsibility so people will move on. So, I drafted you a heartfelt apology. That's so sweet, honey. But trust me, it'll blow over. When God gave man the dominion over all the beasts of the earth, that was not permission for one man to abandon a dog in a hot Plymouth. No, Okay, I get it. Everybody's mad at me. Dad, nip this in the bud and use my apology. I'm Homer Simpson, and I'm truly sorry. Tish! 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 Sorry if you pee-pee babies were offended by something that was no big deal and everything's fine, so what's the issue? Amazing job. You really got his voice down. Okay, Homer, I think you've made your point. I'm sorry that you don't have enough things to get mad at. I'm sorry that you all have skin thinner than gas station toilet paper. And I'm sorry that your lives are so boring that you take a man who left his rescue dog for two minutes to buy him organic ice cream from a woman-owned local business, and you crucify him! Ah. Ow, my dog's eye! Mm -mm. My fellow Springfielders, here at Burns Industries, we release the hounds on all forms of disrespect, and to tolerance we say, excellent. As such, we have terminated association with Homer J. Simpson, as his actions do not represent the values of evil core. Moving forward, we plan to sit back, tent our fingers, and listen. Well, Homer, on the plus side, this has made people forget you almost killed the dog. Oh. Broke into that pharmacy to steal more drugs! Great. More walking. Homie, if we don't make it, I need you to know that you are a decent man, and I love you. No! 
I won't put you two in any more danger. I'm the one he wants. Okay! Phew. Bye! Good luck! Now, will you be paying your debt in money or blood? <laughs> blood it is. Ah, balance. Balance? Is that what this blood-soaked rigmarole has been all about? Why? You ever hear the parable of Lucifer and the millipede? One day at... The end. If you love sports and house flipping shows, telenovelas, mexicanas, and Holocaust documentaries, get everything plus. We'll stream anything, even shows that Peacock rejected. We've got vintage cartoons with the racism and violence edited out, so they're four seconds long. <laughs> Why, look, it's Mr. Crow Jangles. Ah. Kid. Your Aunt Selma and I have been called every mean name in the book. You just gotta let it roll off your back. But how? When the world hurts your feelings, and on certain words you tend to dwell, then live life like your aunties, and tell the jerks to go to hell. This is the dawning of the age. The age of who gives a crap? Who gives a crap? Who gives a crap? Muffin tops, jowls, and crow's feet. Droopy boots and no thigh gap. Chicken skin and body odor. Chin hairs that need some trimming. All these things that's wrong with women. It's all good, just go on living. Who gives a crap? Who gives a crap? Would you uh, uh, excuse us for one moment? Oh, uh, oh certainly. Yes, an actual qualified teacher. And she's stuck here because her husband sucks at oboe. Booyah! <laughs> um, obviously, we're meeting with other applicants. Of course, and I'm meeting with other schools. No, you're hired. You're hired. Here's a $93 signing bonus, and you can have his parking spot. I'll park at the yogurt place. They, they know me there. Boys, meet your new teacher, Ms. Peyton. This is Nelson, Milhouse, and who's that behind that locker? Just me, Bart. Bart! Bart! <laughs> you know, like a seal. You look familiar. Have we met? No! You are a stranger, 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 overheating, alert, 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 shutting down, self-destruct! Bird had Skittles with milk for breakfast. I told him he couldn't handle the rainbow. This is me beating up Santa until he's my dad. Ah, oh, okay, violent, but... He cares about holidays and family. I can work with this. That's a lot of glue. How is that part of your self-portrait? Uh, um, because, you know, uh, my, my face always has glue on it. Oh, really? Yeah, see? I am blue face. I have slept for a thousand years. Oh! oh. Ow. That did not hurt. Take me to your principal. I oh! Glue face want door. Glue face needs restroom. What the hell is wrong with this kid? I got no problem being me. Opinions exist. Think about it. Do you seriously doubt I know what I'm like? And when it comes to brandy, go ahead and sip. Me? I'll chug. I do me. You do you. My way. Oh, this is great. I'll come clean. No more weirdness. I feel better already. Hello. <gasps> hmm. Isn't that interesting? She's married. <laughs> okay. I might be a teensy bit 
in love with her. Oh my god, we saw the principal's bra! We've entered... Puberty. I want to buy a Batman. Um, not so fast. Which era? Which artist? Dark Knight or Adam West? Oh, sometimes I regret not finishing medical school. I was one credit away. One. I want the one where Batman eats lasagna. That is Garfield, who is not a bat, but a cat. How can someone with such a big head be so stupid? I'm so glad you made me come here. Who knew having a purpose in life would give my life purpose? About that, Sheila's going to propose a motion, and I think you should vote yes on it. It'll be a nice thing for you and Gus, and great for the world. Just trust me on this. Why wouldn't I trust you? We're Gramsa. Let me take a selfie of this perfect moment. <laughs> This meeting of the board of the Red Star Corporation will come to order. Present are CEO Augustus Redfield, Sheila Redfield, Colby Redfield, Mav Redfield, Angela Merkel, the bald, creepy Shark Tank guy, TikTok superstar Charlie D'Amelio. What do you do? Well, I entertain people on their phones while they watch TV. How about you? I am often the only voice of reason in all of Europe. Cool. How do you monetize that? I don't. Mom and I <laughs> did a prank together. Sweetie. Whoa, wait a minute. So Bart gets his wild side from his mother? That makes no sense. Boys get stuff from their dads, like their favorite baseball team, mental disorders, and the lame joke they tell every waiter. Say, Maggie, why don't you get this one? Ha, ha, ha. Imagine a baby paying a check. Anyway, I'm off to MERS. Don't you mean Moe's? No, Chalmers. Now there's a different sad old man getting me drunk. Before we commence a new batch, let us chug deep the last of the old. <laughs> oh, man. Art thou as hammered as I? Horse radish! When I voted no, I was talking about the Japanese no theater, which I saw plenty of when I was stationed in the Pacific, stranded on a raft made of Dear John letters and mermaid hair. I married one of those mermaids, but she was a reverso, fish head and lady gams. <laughs> that plus a thousand other things made me what I am today. Mentally incompetent. Isn't mental incompetence grounds for voiding a vote? Well, as the family lawyer and psychopharmacologist, it certainly is. <clears throat> Abraham Simpson's vote is nullified. The count now stands at three to three, a tie. We'll be hopelessly <gasps> deadlocked. The company will grind to a halt. Ah, uh, tough, tough banana, banana skins. skins. Thank you.